Today is the day to spring ahead. Did you know that the best time to sell a home is mid-March to mid-April? Well, here we are. Today, I'm going to share with you seven selling home tips to help you get top dollar for your home and sell it fast. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Sherry Beer Homes, where all it takes is a dream and a swing. My name is Sherry Beer, and I'm a realtor in Rochester, New York with Keller Williams. Let's get into it. Selling tip number one, curb appeal to impress. Have you ever walked up to a home where the front door had peeling paint, the grass was uncut, the shrubs were unruly, and no flowers, no color in the front yard? I know what you were thinking. Oh my goodness, what does it look like inside? Well, that's what I'd be thinking. You know the saying, right? Dress to impress. And you only get one chance to make a first impression to get a 100% return on your investment. Plant some shrubs or cut them back. Paint the front door or if it's a wood door, sand it down and refinish it. Plant some flowers to give your home some color. And what's really important is to clean the windows. Get a little Windex, bring it out clean those windows or pay someone professionally. Selling home tip number two, lighten and brighten. Did you know one thing a buyer always comments on is how much light is coming in and how bright it is and how light it feels inside. Take down those dusty drapes that have been up since you decorated the house Put up some blinds, or put up a cute little valances, or maybe even windows. Leave them a lot without anything on them, because that looks kind of nice too. But clean the windows. And most importantly, you have to brighten your house for evening showings. A lot of people think, oh, they'll just come in and it'll be okay. No, 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 no. So on darker days where there are showings, what you gotta do is you have to brighten your home to increase the wattage. So what you do is you increase the wattage of your light bulbs. Change the lampshades from dark shades to white shades and cut the bushes back to let the sun shine in. Selling home tip number three. Kitchen updates come first. You're not actually selling your house. You're selling your kitchen. That's how important it is to update your kitchen. You'll probably get 85% of your investment back. However, it depends on how much updating your kitchen needs and how long you're going to live in your home. If you're going to get a chance to enjoy it, remodel the kitchen. Getting new granite countertops and new cabinets and some beautiful real wood flooring, which isn't cheap. However, you're going to get a chance to really, really enjoy the kitchen and all those updates that you put in for a while. If you plan on putting your home on the market for, let's say in two months, I would highly recommend a different route. So what I've seen is that instead paint your kitchen cabinets, Put on some new hardware and then put down that snap together. It's like a, a vinyl plank flooring. You just kind of, it snaps together. It looks really nice. Uh, but before you paint your kitchen cabinets, what you really have to do is you have to sand them down. And the best paint color is do a white or light gray, you can't go wrong. Many buyers prefer neutral colors. 
and the flooring would, I would suggest keeping it a light gray. Keep it neutral, very neutral. Buyers like a blank canvas so they can see themselves in the kitchen. Selling tip number four, keep interior makeovers simple. Quick fixes will definitely pay off. Paint the interior of your home a fresh coat of paint. It does wonders. It makes your house feel clean and look fresh. Keep it neutral, light beige, light beige, light gray. That's pretty much all that I see these days. Buyers like that blank canvas, like I said. So they quickly think, how, how could I decorate this? And make it theirs. Replace the door handles, the door handles, your door knobs. Put the doors on your closets. And if you have a squeaky door, just put some oil on it. Lastly, bathroom remodels are great. However, some quick fixes. If you don't go there, as far as fixing it, you know, really, really a lot, you have to fix those leaky faucets. You have to clean the grout. Now, if you don't know exactly how to clean the grout, I will leave you a, a, a video or a description in the description below to how to remove the grout or how to clean your caulk. It'll help a lot. Selling home tip number five, declutter. Closet space is a commodity. Something a buyer always wants and they never seem to have enough of. So take half the stuff out of your closet, then neatly organize it, what's left. And if it's okay to leave a box or two on the floor in the closet, but buyers will snoop. So be sure to keep all your closets and your cabinets clean and tidy. Write a storage unit or pod or put things, the extra things you don't need in that pod. But my recommendation is when you're trying to declutter, which is always worked for me, is make three simple piles. Piles, a keep pile, a toss pile, and a giveaway pile, but make sure you give it away and toss it away. <laughs> then just do that. You have to give it away and you have to, you just get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. If you can't do it, have a friend help you. Make your home a model home, no clutter. Selling tip number six, take the home out of your house. I hate to say this, but it's really important. One of the most important things you can do when selling your house is to depersonalize it. The purpose of this is so buyers can imagine themselves living there. Since you're painting your house and taking this all this time to make it look great, take down the family photos. I know we hate to do it, but we need to. Fill the holes in the walls before you paint and kind of remove all that memorabilia and some of those you know, personal collections and keepsakes that you have and put them in a storage unit too. Many times real estate agents like myself do the staging to maximize your home's full potential. What staging means simply is organizing the furniture in a simple floor plan to help your house feel spacious. Also, I like to, what I love to do is I add back some carefully placed pictures, vases, neutral pictures, vases, plants, throws, or pillows, which lead to warmth. And when your home feels warm, they love it. And last but not least, selling home tip number seven. Hire a trusted realtor like myself, to price your home right. As a realtor, it's important to have knowledge of the current market and to consistently monitor the market using the MLS. It's the multiple listing service that's provided to us. It provides data on current home prices and the comps in your neighborhood. What I mean by comps, is homes that are similar to yours. 
with around the same square footage, the same number of bedrooms, and the same number of bathrooms, a garage or no garage, the size of your lot differs, and other factors as well. By doing this home value analysis, you'll find out what your home is worth and what a savvy agent like myself will do is then you shave 10 to 15 to even 20% off the list price. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll make sure the price is priced correctly and then calculate market the market absorption rate, which will determine how many houses are currently on the market in that specific price range and you try to be one of the only ones that are in that price range or only a few then you price your home accordingly why is this a good strategy because you'll get tons more buyers with multiple bids which will bring the sale price up what your house is currently valued at and most likely above that. It takes a homeowner though real courage to trust your realtor. Some sellers don't want to take that risk. However, trust me, it's the best strategy to sell your house, even in the toughest markets. Well, that's it for today. If you're wanting to sell your home and sell it fast to get top dollar, now is a great time to put your home on the market. Apply my seven home selling tips to sell your house fast and to get top dollar. In the description below, there is a link to the seven home selling tips and how to regrout and recock around your bathtub. I'll leave something in there too. I'm really excited to continue to bring tips and tricks to sellers and buyers looking to sell or buy a home in this current real estate market. And for those of you relocating to Rochester, New York, I'll provide some insight and information about Rochester, New York real estate in my future YouTube videos. If you like what I share today, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Have an awesome day. And remember, all it takes is a dream and a swing. Uh, quickly before you leave, check out a cool factoid about me in the description below. See y'all next Monday. Have a great, great day.